Hey, what's up everybody? This is Eddie at Veerinks RV Center in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Behind me, you can check out this Dutchman Astoria. We wanted to do a walk around on this one because it is a brand new floor plan that they have given us. So what this is, is it's a 2024 Dutchman Astoria, part of their half ton series, but this is the 230 ML. It's gonna be a rear living coach. It's small enough to be half ton towable. It's only gonna weigh about 7,300 pounds and it's gonna be under 20 28 feet overall. So let's check this bad boy out. On the outside, you got your LED docking lights in your front fiberglass front nose cap, the Kurt Rotoflex pin box, just for a little bit less bucking and chucking while you're going down the road. Up in this front storage bay, you are gonna have, basically your spare tire is gonna be in there, but then you have a nice housing if you wanted to bring a generator on board or just some extra storage space. Levelers up front. And then you'll have stabilizers in the back just because this is 28 feet overall. I mean, you see travel trailers going down the road that are 36 feet. So this is a 28 foot fifth wheel. So if you have like a 1500 series vehicle, this could be a good option, but always make sure that your vehicle can handle this. Right here, you're just gonna have a 30 pound propane bottle. You'll have another one on the opposing end of the coach, which is pretty sweet. So you have two 30 pounders. In here is going to be a nice big path through storage bay and you'll have a bigger door on the opposing end and a wet bay, which will have all of your hookups for your water. But something that I want to point out is on this, you do have a off the grid package. So it is going to come with 200 watts of solar already installed on the roof, which is pretty nice if you plan to use a smaller fifth wheel for some boondocking. Something about Dutchman Astoria when it comes to their construction features. They use a fully welded frame. So it's gonna be a welded aluminum frame. They have a heated and closed underbelly. So if you're gonna do some extended camping, this is a good option for it. A high gloss fiberglass on there. So you're gonna have a little bit less fading over time. And then they have a fully vacuum bonded structure. I can't really reach the ceiling because I'm not tall enough, but if you bang on it, it's fully vacuum bonded. Even your roof, your floor, and your back wall are all vacuum bonded. Something about their floor, which is pretty sweet as well, is rather than having like a tongue and groove plywood, you have a hyper deck flooring. So you actually don't have any wood in your floor, which is pretty sweet. I know it's a lot of information. I won't be able to go over all of it, especially because we got some loud cars by the road, but we're gonna check everything out that we can. On the outside, nice big awning. You do have an LED light strip in there, which is gonna illuminate it at night on your campsite. You'll also have some outdoor speakers tinted windows and something about Dutchman that I love that they do, because most manufacturers won't do this, is as long as you have a little bit of space, they will put a little fridge on the outside. So you do have some sort of outdoor cooking capabilities, along with an outdoor griddle that will attach to this rack right here on the side of the coach. So you don't necessarily have a big baggage door for it, but they still give it to you, which is pretty sweet and give you that option. Couple other things that I always like to point out on these Dutchman Astorias is you're already gonna have a backup camera fully installed. You are already gonna have a slide topper installed since this is a single slide coach. And then you do have a tankless water heater on board as well. So those three options can be pretty expensive if you wanna get them all installed at a dealership. They already come standard on this bad boy. One other tidbit is that it does come with an accessory receiver on the back. It's a two inch receiver, which will have a 300 pound capacity. So if you wanna bring some bikes, pop them right there. But let's head inside and we'll check out the floor plan. Okay, so here we are inside the 2024 Dutchman Astoria 230 ML. This is gonna be a rear kitchen coach. Like I said outside, it's about uh, 7,300 pounds and 28 feet overall. Now that is from your front pin box to your bumper in the back. So check this out, not a massive fifth wheel, but still gives you a lot of living space back here while still being able to tow like a fifth wheel, right? It's gonna be a lot different feeling than towing a travel trailer. So right here, kind of all encompassing, you're gonna have your dinette, which is gonna be benches, will collapse down into sleeping space and you will have some storage down below. Cool thing about it is you have a window right there above your dinette. So if you're coming with the kids 
and you wanna be able to sit here, eat, read, do whatever you wanna do and still watch the kids, you got a window right there, which is pretty sweet. Not a lot of campers will have it or they're gonna have it on the off campsite side. So you do have that capability. Back here, you're kinda gonna have an L kitchen space. So they didn't just chop it off. They gave you a little bit extra counter space just because that's important. You're gonna might be cooking for a crew of people. So you wanna ensure that you have plenty of space to prep, but lots of cabinets, all these drawers up top, all usable space. Like check that out. You even have some shelves that are already built in so you don't have to do it yourself. And then a ton of full pull drawers down here. Stainless steel uh, farm style sink with a high rise sprayer faucet, which is pretty sweet. A ton of windows in here, so kind of like a panoramic look. Uh, but one thing that Dutchman does that I think is pretty sweet that we don't see a lot of manufacturers do is you can kind of see the receptacle over in the corner. You got a couple uh, GFCI outlets, so just some 110 outlets and a few USBs. They have it right there, but then you also have another one that pops up right here. So kind of an abundance of outlets and they're not just sitting up, like up underneath your cabinet up here. So you have a coffee maker with a cord going right up to the top of the, or the bottom of the cabinet. It's just nice and accessible. And right underneath that, a lot of people go, oh, where's my trash can gonna go? They already included a little spot with a trash can. So it's actually a full pull out trash can, which is pretty sweet. You don't see that very often. Then you go over to kind of your cooking materials. You got your Furion oven, you got a three burner cooktop and a Furion microwave. In your slide, you're gonna have a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. When it comes to doing any boondocking, you do have that 200 watts of solar already on the roof. So that will help keep this bad boy running if you're going for a little bit more of like an extended stay over the weekend um, without any electrical hookups. Thomas Paine theater seating over in your slides. So in this slide, you have the refrigerator and then you got the theater seating. Pretty cool. You are gonna have, they're just manual, but nice and comfortable. You got some cup holders. You do have an opening right here, so if you want to do a little bit of storage space, put the TV remotes, maybe a blanket in there, that's pretty nice. Uh, right next to that too, something you don't see in a fifth wheel that's under 28 feet. Look at the size of this pantry. So take whatever you need. That is, I can't stress enough how massive that is for storage space in a fifth wheel of this size. And you even have some more drawers and uh, cabinet space up above and you even have a little hutch so if you don't want to put the coffee maker back there toss it right here so you got a nice spot for a coffee maker for uh, some picture frames if you want to bring some pictures of the family with you but you can kind of make this thing home which is pretty cool uh, heading up stairs what I'm stepping on they kind of changed it so now it's a little bit more open with some lights but it's a good spot to put your shoes when you're kicking them off you're kicking off your dirty shoes when you're coming in the fifth wheel but as we head up Towards the front bedroom, you have a pretty big bathroom. So when it comes to travel trailers this size, usually the bathroom is where they cut it off. With the fifth wheel, you have a little bit more space to work with, but you got a nice big shower with a glass shower door and a skylight for you tall people. And then you have some storage down below, even a medicine cabinet and a foot flush toilet. So you have a pretty big bathroom in a 28 foot fifth wheel. Heading into your bedroom. It has to be nice and light just because this is a uh, half ton towable fifth wheel. They want to ensure that you're not going to overweight your pin box on the front. So you don't have a bed or a wardrobe slide just to ensure this hitch weight isn't kind of overkill for that size of vehicle. But you are going to have lots of storage space and washer and dryer prep uh, or combo prep in that top cabinet. You have windows for cross ventilation, some storage up above, a residential queen size bed with storage down below, and you even have a spot for a CPAP machine and hookups for it if you wanted it. All right guys, thanks for tuning in uh, to this YouTube video. Again, this is the 2024 Dutchman Astoria. This is the 230ML. This is gonna be the, in their half ton series. Again, it's about 7,300 pounds and just under 28 feet overall. I can't go through everything in these videos. So if you have any questions, this is Eddie at Veerings RV Center in Grand Rapids. We are a Dutchman dealer uh, and our number is 616-965-9625 and make sure you ask for Eddie.